hello fountain pen friends today i have a very very exciting new pen day uh video for you guys today um i have just gotten back from flax pen to paper which is my local pen store um here in los angeles um i have had my eye on this for like literally maybe a month um diplomat hasn't been on my radar for very long i actually stopped into flax because i was interested in testing out their um, line of pelicans. I did not get my pelican from them, but I wanted to just see how they wrote. Um, and I, they didn't have this pelican anyways that I wanted. Um, so I actually ordered this from Cult Pens. But during my visit there, testing out pelican nibs, I um, saw this pen, it caught my eye because of how beautiful it is. Um, it actually is emerald green and gold, which happened to be um, my wedding colors. Uh, my husband and I got married um, about a, a year and nine months ago uh, or something like that. So, you know, it spoke to me right away because it reminded me of a very, very special day in my life. So I was like, hey, I, I would love to test this fountain pen out. So they, they took it out um, and they, let, they uh, dipped it in some ink and I wrote with it. I wrote with it in both the fine and the medium nib and both were absolutely phenomenally uh, smooth lit. Um, nibs. I 100% love smooth nibbed pens, which is why I picked up this medium um, Pelican. I don't tend to like scratchy nibs. Um, I was a little disappointed, I'm not going to lie, with my previous purchase, which I just put lotion on my hands, so it's a little hard to get out of its pen loop. But I picked up this earlier in the summer, um, Sailor Pro Gear Slim um, with a medium fine nib, which is the only nib option for this particular pen. Um, and I know that people love sailors and they, you know, rave about how well uh, the nibs are tuned. But in my experience for what I like, this is a little scratchier than what I would prefer. So I was a little disappointed in this, which is why I went looking for a Pelican, which has a reputation for having an incredibly smooth nib. And why when I was out looking at that, I came across this and was like, this is going on my must have list. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this guy out of the box with you guys and we're gonna check it out. So, because I have a few finer pointed nibs, um, just in general in my, in my collection, I decided to opt for another medium because currently the only two mediums that I have is this Pilot Metropolitan and my Pelican. So I was like, since everything else that I have is fine, or I think I actually have one extra fine and the rest are all fines, I'm gonna pick up another medium pen. So that's what I did here with Diplomat. And I actually should probably mention that, you know, it comes in this really nice box that's, you know, branded, it's white, all that good stuff. But this part's really kind of special to me. I like that they chose this aluminum thing to slide over on this part of the box, which I think is really nice. Makes me actually want to keep it. I'm going to set that aside. And then here you've got a nice paper box liner. And then there is the gorgeous pen. So I'm gonna pull, pull this up really quick and show you that here I've also got the International Diplomat Warranty Book. Um, I'll read through this later, I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. Um, and then what comes with the pen also is two of these International Cartridge inks, which it appears to be blue. Um, and I don't know who makes this ink. Um, I think it's safe to assume it is a Diplomat ink, but I don't know. So I'm going to put that back in there. I'm going to slide this back into the housing and into the box. Oops, probably shouldn't have done that yet because I still have this bit out. But such a gorgeous pen. This green is just, I don't even know if the camera is going to pick up how pretty that green is. But this is a true emerald green in my book. Um, I almost wish my nails weren't orange right now because I'm sure those colors are clashing, but it's such a sophisticated green. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous with the gold um, elements. Um, and then that super pretty finial design. I really, really like that. I, I've learned that I do not like boring finials. So I do really, really enjoy that. 
I think this design of their clip is also really pretty. I like that teardrop. Um, and I also love that it's a spring-loaded clip, which I think is just, just adds to how quality this pen is. Now I must say, this is the heaviest pen I currently own. Um, I would probably say my second heaviest is my Vanishing Point, which I don't have out, and this Metropolitan. Those are my heaviest fountain pens, but this by far is definitely the heaviest one that I currently own. So we will see how I feel about that long term, but I feel like in the short term, having written with it just briefly in the store, I feel like I'm gonna really love writing with heavier pens. Uh, when this came, I was definitely disappointed in how heavy or how light it is. I felt like it should have been heavier for, you know, the, the look of this pen is just so classy and gorgeous that I expected it to have a little bit of weight to it, and it does not. Um, same with the Pelican. I would wager to say the Pelican's actually even lighter than my Sailor. So, I mean, I guess that's good if that's your favorite thing. Um, it's not a favorite of mine. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just not a favorite. So when I picked this up, I was like, ooh, I love that weight. All right, second thing, or I don't know, fourth, fifth thing that I love about this pen is the fact that it is a pull-off um, and a nice, satisfying snap-on mechanism, which I think the Pilot Metropolitan is a nice pull-off pen, like, and a nice snap back in there, but it's a lot quicker and easier to release. Then this, like, you're not gonna accidentally take this cap off. You're gonna have to try. It definitely has a nice sturdy locking mechanism there. And it has a really nice sound to it. So, cap's got some good weight to it. And it does post, it's a push to post, which I have recently discovered is my preference. I do not like screw to post pens. I find them to be very annoying. Um, which is a little bit of a bummer because one of my favorite fountain pens is my Twisby uh, mini um, and I love writing with this pen which is why I have it inked up in black because anytime I need a black pen I go for this pen I just really don't like screwing on the cap on the back so um, for that reason these two are my favorite above that slightly just because I don't have to um, screw it on I think that's my my order of preference but not sure anyways so going back to this guy beautiful weight beautiful silhouette oh, look at that nib that nib that nib, I'm gonna try to get it in center here, is just so pretty. It's a nice big nib. And this is actually a steel nib. I was really, really shocked by that because when I first wrote with it, I swore I sampled the 14 karat gold, but the store that I got this from, Flax, didn't does not actually carry the 14 karat gold of this nib, uh, I don't believe. So there's a nib size comparison. The Pelican medium versus the Diplomat medium. It's obviously a much bigger pen, so a much bigger nib. Uh, it feels balanced in that regard, but really beautiful, really beautiful two-tone nibs. I realize now that I know that I have seen the wonder that is two-tone nibs. That that is my favorite thing. The Sailor has a solid gold, 14 karat nib. It's a lot smaller still. But um, I think, actually, does that have? No, that's solid, it's not two-toned. But I do, I am very partial to two-tone nibs. I think they're gorgeous. So I have relatively small hands, I would say. And I would say that this, this pen fits very comfortably in my hand. I have no trouble holding onto it. Oh, it's so, be it's so beautiful to look at, you guys. I can't even, with how pretty this is. Um, with the cap posted, it is a little back heavy, but not enough for me to be like, oh, I hate this and I'm not going to post it. That's <clears throat> not an issue for me. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to show you the cartridge converter that came into it, in the pen, sorry. And it's branded with Diplomat made in Germany. And it's got a nice mechanism. It's not uh, super stiff or super smooth. It's definitely not as smooth as the Pelican. But I didn't expect it to be, but it's very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead um, and ink it up. I have decided that today's ink of choice for this new pen is going to be, drum roll please, an ink that I have not used in ages and because I think it's because I haven't found the right pen for it. But you guys, oops, I have Emerald of Chivore. Ooh, it looks like the cap has been cracking while I've been away from it. 
that's not great. But I'm glad that I noticed it before and uh, screwed that. I hope that's not a problem and I hope that the cap doesn't dissolve on me. But in any case, I hope that this uh, is a nice pairing there. Okay, so I have just flushed it in a little bit of water. And now I'm going to go ahead and try to get this cap off without shattering it. Oof, this feels like this is going to be a tough one to get off. Oh, thankfully, thankfully, nothing happened to the outside of this cover. All right, so let's try to get this in there without getting ink everywhere. Nope, doesn't seem like I got it in there far enough, so I'm going to dip it down a little bit more, and there we go. There we go. I'm going to grab my little rag. Ooh, I got that ink all over my hands. That was not a successful uh, inking there that I did. I'm just gonna wipe off the nib as best as I can. Good Lord, I really managed to get that ink on my hands. Hard, oh, wow, hardcore got that on my nails too. That's not coming off. Wonderful things. Okay, we're gonna pull out my Rhodia notepad. Uh, and I'm actually going to make my life a little easier and put it on a clipboard. And you know what? In the interest of not wasting much paper, I'm going to flip that sheet of paper over and use that. So now I'm going to get this just as centered as I possibly can. All right. Please excuse my inky hands. And here we go. I'm a lefty, everyone, in case that's not obvious. And this is the A2. Ever green. Oh, this nib is so buttery. So, so, so buttery. I love this nib. Oops. I am not spelling correctly as I'm trying to record this video. And then just so you guys know what these things look like. Oh, that's such a buttery smooth nib, you guys. Absolutely no feedback, no catching. Beautiful. Okay, and just for the sake of comparing, because in my Pelican, this is also a medium, but as everyone knows, Pelicans are definitely on the more broad side. Um, 400, white, tor toys, Okay, so definitely, I would say they're actually fairly close to each other in thickness, which again is fine with me because I actually prefer, um, wow, I just totally, oh my god, okay, I gotta go clean my hands, guys, I just, I have to stop. All right back after cleaning my my hands off a little bit. I've still got a little bit of staining happening, but that's all right. I'm going to write with this new guy because it is wonderful. It's definitely a little weightier to get used to. 
And I'm definitely not getting a lot of sheen out of that ink with the snib, which is a little like, I don't know if that's the ink's fault or the pen's fault, but you got some coming in there in that fantastic on the top. The top line is a little better for getting that shimmer in there. Let me see if I got it in there. A little bit, a little bit, not much, but a little bit. And there you have it, guys. For right now, this is going to be inked up with Emerald of Shavor. Um, it is a absolutely gorgeous pen. Great weight to it. I really, really enjoy that. I'm just noticing some minor scratches here, but I'm not going to be super upset about that. It's just a beautiful pen. Beautiful, beautiful pen. All right.